my name is Hugh Zane. I'm a PhD student with the University of Twente, and I, today I want to explain you how my switch capa capacitor power amplifier works. A switch capacitor power amplifier is a digital to analog converter based RF transmitter. It works as follows. Inside the digital to analog converter, there is an array of capacitors. On one side, their voltage is shared. This is called the top plate. On the bottom plate of the capacitors, they, and they are connected to a switch. This, this switch can switch either to ground or to a supply voltage. If you ha don't have just one of these capacitors, but an array of them, you can use this as a digital to analog converter by controlling the position of these switches. If you want to make this into an RF transmitter, uh, uh, we can connect an inductor and an antenna. The, this will form a bandpass filter going to, an, to the antenna. Without this inductor, one could make a sequence uh, at this top node with voltages which, uh, which alternate between four uh, voltages to make a periodic signal. In a, in a quadrature transmitter, this could be a Q, a Q signal, an I signal, a minus Q signal and a minus I signal. And this pattern repeats itself to form a quadrature periodic signal. The capacitor and inductor form a bandpass filter such that the signal at the antenna will be the bandpass version of this signal, which will look much more like a sine wave. The linearity of the switch capacitor power amplifier is very high. This is because the capacitors in CMOS can be implemented very linearly. The inductor is also a linear component and so is the antenna. The linearity will be limited by how well the, these switches are, especially during the transition from ground to VDD or backwards. In our paper, we propose a technique to enhance the linearity during switching. Welcome to the lab. Excuse me for the noise. This is uh, the switch capacitor power amplifier. It's the center of our setup. It's situated right over here. It, the input data is generated by the board which is below this, the larger board. This is a field programmable gate array. Between these two boards, there's a 30s connection for high-speed digital communication to transmit the data, which in our case is a quant signal to the switch capacitor PA. The other way, there is a clock signal to keep this digital communication synchronized to the switch capacitor. The output, output signals are measured using an oscilloscope. Lastly, there are a local oscillator which is this block. There, is, there are generators for bias and supplies. And all this all these measure, measurement equipment is controlled via a computer. Firstly, this computer programs the FPGA, generates a QAM stimulus and sends it to the FPGA. Then it enables the clocks, the bias, and sets up the measurement equipment. Here we show uh, the transmission of a 1024 QAM signal in the time domain. This is what the signal looks like in the time domain, and here you can see its frequency spectrum. When we zoom in in the time domain, you can see that it's actually built up of samples and, and, and at discrete moments in time, it steps to the next sample. It happens once every 45 RF periods. This is the received constellation. You can see a 1024 quam signal and this uh, indicates that 10 bits can be sent at the same time. 
The large number of points indicates that, that this has a very high linearity, resulting in a very high precision, such that these points can be adequately distinguished and all these 10 bits reach the, the receiver correctly. Apart from that, on the right, you can also see the spectrum where we measure, in, in this case, an adjacent channel power leakage of almost minus 50 dB, which is very linear. This is our measurement board. On the top, this PCB, you can see a custom PCB where here in the center is our switch capacitor power amplifier and the other signals are RF inputs or, or bias signals. The larger PCB below that is an FPGA development board which is used to generate the digital quantum data. In conclusion, we had an idea to linearize switch capacitor power amplifiers. We made this into a chip and here you can see our results with a very nice 1024 quantum constellation and a very clean spectrum. Thank you for watching.